Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Welcome to my video. Today I'm working on day seven prompts for the December, the Um The prompts are a safety pin and a postage stamp. And I'm gonna apologize right now, it is really, really cold here in Minnesota. And it's like three degrees and we have like 25 mile an hour wind. So my heater is going to run. I Even if I turn it down, it's just gonna run. So I hope it's not too loud. Um, I turned it way down so it keeps <laughs> keeps kicking itself on. Um, anyways, we're just going to get right to it. If it's too annoying, just mute me or, um, I don't know, I'm sorry. I, I don't have a choice today. It's too cold. Okay, so we're just going to get right to it. So my thoughts on this one, where I was going to, I don't have a safety pin, but I have a bulb pin. And so I'm going to use that for my safety pin and we're going to make a postage stamp. And I thought this was a very cute um, Christmas postcard. We're going to cover the back. It's got writing all over it and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to um, use my glue stick. And I think I just got this postcard in probably a thrift, thrift state or a state sale or something. But... And then I, I was thinking we could hang, like, make a stamp and then use the bulb pin somehow um, and hang it from there with, with the stamp hanging from with the bulb pin. You know what I mean. <laughs> I'm all wigged out because that furnace won't be quiet, so. I, I wish it was sunny and 75 year round. I can handle that. I'm going to stitch around this so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly cut it. As you can tell, I did. I am coffee dyeing right now. My studio island is covered. and So I had a piece of coffee dyed paper here. These ones turned out a little darker than I normally make, but that's okay. I had some new... Um, patterns to try so trying those out okay so we have that and my thoughts were I would go ahead now that I have this all goobered with let's see I have an achy one here um, I was gonna try and put a little blue in this I'm gonna use this I'm gonna try and cut the the puppy and the kitty out here for the image on my stamp and so I was thinking I would try and incorporate a little bit of blue. There's a little bit in here. Um, I'm not sure yet. Maybe the, I'm thinking we're going to use those, but we're, we're going to give it a try. But I'm going to grab my snowflake stencil and just try to stencil a little bit. And this here is Broken China Dress, Distress Oxide. And I'm not sure how well this is going to take the ink. It is shiny. I might have to sand it. working. Just a little bit of color on the sides. Okay, so do we want some on the back? I think maybe, huh? Just a couple, so that's fine. I love that heater, but we have it on our, the west wall in here, so if we get a northwest wind, it's just, it constantly wants to run to try, because the wall is cold, the thermostat needs to be moved is what the problem is, and that hasn't been done yet. So, okay, I am gonna go ahead and ink around the edges of this with Vintage Photo. Okay. 
front and the back. And then I'm going to stitch around it. And I have, I think I'm going to use blue thread. So we're a week into the December. So that's pretty exciting. I'm so sorry for that noise. <laughs> I hope it's not horrible. It's it seems really loud. So I'm guessing it's going to be really loud in the video, but like I said, just go ahead and mute me. You're not going to offend me. Okay, I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to go and stitch around this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with the um, postcard. It's stitched around. Okay, so now we are going to work on our stamp. I'm just going to try and cut this down into like a, I don't know, maybe like a rectangular shape. Trimming what I can. Let's see. So we don't want it too big, but we don't want to not see what the image is either, so. It's a cute little one for a tag or something. Okay. I think that's a good size and you can see the puppy and the kitty and the Christmas present stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go with that. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is ink that. Okay, and then, let's see. This is all goobery, but this corner here is not, so I'm just gonna, this is just a cream cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that right on here. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to glue that right on there. Oh, goodness, I washed out the tip on my glue here. And now it really wants to come. I cut, it, I cut the end too big on that. And so when it's half plugged, it works good. And now when it's cleaned, it's a little bit ridiculous on the flow. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to put that on there, and then I have my hair thinning scissor, and we're going to attempt, attempt to cut that so we get that stamped edge look. I'm not sure which way, I know there's a certain way to hold this, so I'm, I don't know what I'm doing here. Well, that looks okay. So we're just gonna give it a little bit of a border. So that kind of looks like it. We can trim a little tiny bit of, it is a little long. Postage stamp thing. Well, we're gonna need we're gonna need a block. And here I have these ones. Um, let's see. I think we're going to use that one. And we're gonna use our stays on ink. 
that works. I didn't want to cover up the puppy or the kitty, so stamp that off and put that back so I don't lose it. Okay. And now I think we're going to need a little hole in there. I have this little tiny hole punch here. If I can get that. I don't want to punch through the puppy's face. Um, let's see. Okay, that works. Okay. So now, let's see, this is going to probably be, you know, in a pocket, a side pocket, I'm guessing. I don't want to cover up the puppies or anything. Well, if we made it to go in a top loading one, we could hang this off here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I should have looked and seen if I had any cute little um, beads or something, but I don't have any right handy right here. So, lace. Let's see if we can add some lace. Just have some of this blue. or something would have been really cute on the outside of this. Um, but I might cover up the puppy too, so. We don't want to do that. It's a really cute puppy. Okay, I'm purposely hanging this off a little bit to the side here. Okay, so we got to punch a hole in... with the thread I might not get that on there so let's see what are we gonna do we're gonna use our whole poker Sorry to get out of here let's see where do we want we're just gonna we're just gonna say that looks good right there and we're gonna close that And there we have our little faux stamp and some lace on a postcard. Quick and easy. I think I would have liked it moved over a little bit more, but that works. So then when we slide this in a pocket and we pull it out, we can journal on the back. And this here can actually hang over the pocket as well. When I use it, I'll probably put a tab or something on the top. But there is our the Ephemerember Day 7 safety pin and postage stamp on a big journal card. So I think that turned out pretty cute. If you're still here with me, um, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.